Hey everyone, if you are tired of the same old Chrome look, allow me to introduce you to an application that will totally transform your browsing experience. Ensure to stick around to the end of this video, subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on cool videos like this. Let's go. As we all know, whenever you open your Google Chrome, you're likely to be welcomed with this basic outlook and that is about to change. Now if we navigate to this website right here, here in github.com, this is more like the brain box of this application I'm about to show you. Here in this website, you're going to find all the necessary information regarding this application. And one good thing is that this is an open source application, okay? And also, it's not just limited to Google Chrome. You can also add on this application to your Firefox browser. Now, I'm going to focus mainly on Google Chrome for now. And all the links I'll be using right here will be provided in the description. If you click the link, you should be redirected to Chrome Web Store. And here we have Material New tab. Navigate to the right side here. Click on Add to Chrome. Now you're going to get this request for confirmation. Select Add Extension. So after doing that, let's try to open a new tab now. Yes, yeah, select Keep It. So here is the Material U new tab. So right now we're going to make some changes to make it better. So navigate to the bottom right here, click on this round icon. First of all, we have shortcuts. If you toggle this on and we go back to the left side here. Now you can see all these icons here, which consist of the necessary social media platforms and all that. But that is not all. If you go back right to the settings and you click on this icon, here you have options that if you don't want any of these shortcuts to appear down here and you want to delete them, you can just click on this recycle bin icon. On the contrary, if you want to add any new shortcut, just click on this plus icon right here, then scroll back down. As we can see, we have new shortcut here. All right. Now you're going to type in the name of the site we want to add as your new shortcut. And here I'm just going to type LinkedIn, tap on enter. And if you already have the link, you can just copy and paste the link right here. Okay. And for the sake of this video, I'm just going to give an example right here. I'm just going to say LinkedIn.com. All right. Let me go back here. Now, as you can see, we have this LinkedIn shortcut right here. If you just click on this, it's going to redirect you to LinkedIn. So now we're going to head back and continue to the settings under adaptive icon shapes. You can toggle this on and bookmarks toggle it on it's going to require additional permissions just click on ok now scroll down here again we have ai tools enable this one if we go back here we can see we have this ai tools we'll be coming back to that later go back to the settings and proceed to google apps enable that to do list enable that we have this digital clock now we're going to change this you're going to notice some changes here later toggle that on as well Switch to Fahrenheit. I think it's good the way it is and hide microphone icon. It's not needed. Search suggestions. Enable this. If you scroll down here, here we have the location. Okay. This is where you're going to type in your city. And for the sake of this video, I'm just going to type in London, then click on save. All right. As we can see right here, we have the necessary weather information. Now we head back to the settings. And right below here, if you want a more precise weather information, you can go ahead and paste in your API key right here, then save it. And that way you're going to get a precise weather information. Now, if we scroll down here, the language is on English by default. Now, if you click on this, you have vast majority of choices right here to choose. You know, you can change to any language of your choice. And I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And if we go down again, you have these colors right here. You can easily change the color by just clicking on any of the colors right here. For example, if I click on this, now if you look at this here, now it's a different color right here. Go back to the settings. Now, if you select pick a color, you can actually play around and change to the exact color tone that you want. Okay. You can move this around here to get the precise color tone. And as you can see, we have this blur effect right here and which you can still see the color from behind. I just seem to like the default color. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is, change it back to blue. And one very cool thing about this is that you can actually upload a wallpaper, right? Now let's try that out. Select upload wallpaper. 
proceed to the location where you have your wallpaper, select it, click on open. Now if you go back here, you can see that we have this wallpaper right here and you can use basically any wallpaper of your choice for this. And again, I'm not willing to use this wallpaper. I'm just going to go back and going to change it back to the default. Let's click on this recycle bin, select OK. Now it's back to normal. Now, just in case you want to set all this back to the default setting, just click on reset settings. Now we head back here. Here we have this click here to edit. Select that and you can type anything you want to type. I'm just going to type. We have this digital clock right here, which is looking pretty cool. And here we have to do list. I mean, you can type anything you want here as a reminder, for example, so if you type that in, just click on this plus sign. And once you're done with that, you can actually check on these to mark that your task has been done. Right below here, we have the AI tools. If you click on these, we have different options here, chat GPT and all other AI platforms. Click on anywhere around here to close that. As I've shown before, we have all the shortcuts. And if you notice this change, this is because adaptive icon shapes is toggled on. When you toggle that on, it's going to find an icon that will suit any popular app you want to use as your shortcut. Okay. And here we have some motivational codes and this changes from time to time. Now the main domain is this search was you type something like how to feed my dogs. Click on search. You're still going to get the same result as it is on Google Chrome. So we go back here. And if you look to the top right here, we have these beautiful apps here where you can access your Gmail, your account, search, um, Google search, YouTube, and we have basically everything you'll find on your Google Chrome and it's looking pretty cool. So here we have the bookmarks. And just for any reason, you don't want to use these anymore. Now I'm going to show you how to remove this application. Go right here to the top right, click on these three dots. Go on to your extensions, then go to manage extensions. Then right here you have material, you new tab, click on remove. That is all you have to do to remove these from your Chrome. Okay. That is it about that. So you can have this done on your Firefox as well. And it's just about the same method. I hope this video helped you. Remember to leave thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel. Have a nice day and peace out.